Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing the reasons I love living in Merida, Mexico. Why this place is so awesome, at least in my opinion. So, I'm just going to go off the top of my head here because um, it's just one of these topics that, you know, I just uh, decided last minute, as I do with a lot of these topics. And this one was kind of like an easy one off the top of my head because um, I have a million reasons as to why I love living out here. And, um, you know, today was just a particularly awesome Mexico day, you know, so that also had that fresh in my mind. And, uh, yeah, it's just awesome. I'm like, again, I'm just on my way to the, to the store. Just on my way to the store uh, to pick up a, a few things for dinner. You know, just living the nice, chill, humble life that a lot of us out there, a lot of you guys out there, wish, you know, that you could live. And again, that's why I make all kinds of videos, because you can live this life if you choose to live it. Or you can also just watch my videos and watch me live it. And uh, I got all kinds of shit for everybody. Look at this. So, you know, um, one of the reasons I love living out here is the controlled chaos. As you see how evident it is from all kinds of shit you see all the time. I love the controlled chaos. That's maybe because like I feel more uh, at home in an environment like that. Just being born and raised in Miami, Florida. Um, kind of always, you know, kind of coming from the rough side of the neighborhood type of stuff. And, uh, you know, then being a chef for pretty much my whole life and being in that world. Um, I've always been very comfortable in, in chaos, or at least, you know, again, the controlled chaos. And uh, that's how I feel it is out here all the time. Only, it's chill. It's really, really chill. And that's like a really good thing. Because since uh, it's so fucking chill, it allows uh, it allows the controlled chaos to not, you know, not be bad. Because in a lot of places out there, for example, in a lot of major cities, um, in the U.S. in particular, or just um, when you're living that grind life, you know, that nine to five slave job, that kind of whatever, you know, a lot of times. You know, your life, you know, most people out there, your life is a bazillion times more chaotic than anything out here, period. But it's just a different kind of chaos. Um, you know, the chaos out here is just, uh, I don't know, it's because it's, uh, you're living in, a, in almost anarchy when you, when you come out here. That's what this place is, you know? So, for those out there that don't really um, understand, like, the concept of anarchy... It just means without ruler, you know, without like anyone really telling you what to do. So, you know, it's not anarchy out here by any stretch of the imagination. It's a lot more, um, you know, libertarian though. You know, it is very, very libertarian. Um, and when you live in a very libertarian, anarchistic uh, world, that's when you get like uh, a little bit of that controlled chaos type of stuff. By the way, no no sun but anyways that's one of the major things i enjoy and love about living out here where everybody is uh responsible for themselves everybody's responsible for their own actions everybody's responsible period you know <laughs> there's no government or no law uh oh woke up doggy anyway there's no that that was the the doggy uh fbi fbi dog anyway but there's no government or no law, or no nothing stupid like that to be constantly, you know, babysitting everyone and everything. Because as you guys already know, most of you guys watching me out there come from an over-regulated, over-regulated, over, you know, extreme, too many laws uh, type of environment. <laughs> an over, overly regulated situation. And uh, that's that's a million times worse, you know? where if somebody steals something from you, you can't even, 
attack them to get your shit back because then you're liable. Um, and you gotta wait for the cops to show up and arrest both of you and then have him figure out who the fuck is the bad guy. You know what I mean? Like, um, no, you know, I would, I'd rather have it like how it is out here where you can actually fight back and then when the cop shows up, you know, he can use his own fucking judgment to fucking figure it out and that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, it's, again, it's, it's basically freedom. You know, one of the main reasons I love living out here is freedom. Now, you know, there's other things I love about living out here. Like, um, the people are amazing. The people really are amazing. And I guess when I say that, it stems because I just come from, you know, living in the U.S. pretty much my whole life. And then I come to an environment. I come to an environment that is uh, very friendly and very family oriented and very very people oriented and all that good stuff and um, you know so for example you know just like in my situation I'm a single I'm a single guy in my 30s you know basically by choice at this time and living in the US pretty much any single guy for the most part you know and just a single woman too you guys know that your situation is very dire very shitty I don't want to get into the details of all that but it's not it's not easy it's not easy um, and a lot of us out there yearn for how things were and not how things are and um, so for example living out here it's been an amazing experience like a super awesome experience um, when it comes to that when it comes to how people treat each other when it comes to how the gender roles are applied and again you know I live in one of the most liberal places out here you know there's every gender out here they got all that LGBT stuff and you know I'm all down with that I'm a classical liberal when it comes to that let everybody let everybody be you know everybody everybody deserves to live the fucking life they want to live you know no matter what they want to do I'm not here to tell nobody how to live and nobody should be telling anybody how to live so I'm about that but with that being said um, you already know how things are in, in a lot of the world right now when it comes to Europe or the developed world you know the US you know when it comes to how things have gotten way out of hand so like living out here one of the awesome things about that is that I'm living I don't know like if like I was in the US back in the 70s you know that's how I constantly compare it to it's like being in the US in the 70s you know like in there from just literally the early 70s too you know in that kind of uh, political type environment or that kind of a societal environment not political but like a, a societal environment and um, you know with that being said it's like uh, you know the women have all the power you know they got tons of power but the gender roles are applied here you know so it's like you know the men are the men the men's are you know basically you know supposed to look at that double double whammy um you know the men's are supposed to be the the men's of the house you know in whatever shape or form that takes and uh, the providers and all that and then the women you know no matter what they do they stay home and you know take care of the crib pretty much you know that kind of stuff you know stuff that is really fucking normal and natural out here it's not even it's funny like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but then, you know, there was like these two tourists that passed and they weren't happy at what I was just literally saying because the, my voice was projected. I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm a little loud. Let me see. So, the point is that, you know, when it comes to that, the gender roles and how families are, everything is super, super duper family oriented out here. So, like, again, I've only been here a short time. I've been able to, you know, date without a problem out here, and uh, not just date without a problem, but have my pick of the litter, man. Like really have, you know, prime, you know, stuff. You know, some, some I've shared some, some of them with you, and uh, some of my adventures, and some not, and some, you know, again, like right now I'm dating somebody, 
and it's amazing because here it's just like I was back home everything is just you know the regular gender roles type of stuff you know we all do our own thing but the traditional gender roles are kept and uh, the whole family concept is uh, a major component and uh, you know doing the right thing is part of uh, you know everyday life out here and being a good person and you know all these uh, a lot of these values that most people have uh, you know it's gone by the wayside already in, the, in a lot of the world and so you know being able to live out here in that kind of environment it is it's fucking awesome it really is I mean just just um you know the freedom the real freedom that you have out here the real freedom that you have out here then on top of that you know um when you're living out here you know you get to live how you really want to live and experience the things you really want to experience again just you know my particular case um also like you know let's just talk about you know living in this particular area and just some you know advantages of living here so as you guys see i don't own a car um i can either rent a bike for a dollar or i can just walk everywhere and that's what i do and if i really need to go really far i'll take a bus or i'll rent an, uh, i'll get an uber so that's like another major advantage if you're paid in dollars, which a lot of people are nowadays, a lot of people nowadays are, are dollars or euros or whatever, and you do online work, and if you don't do any work, you can do you can easily find online work, whether it's uh, teaching English or um, there's a bunch of shit out there. Um, do your own research, but I, I mean I've, I've talked about that too. The point is that as long as you make, as long as you're able to make um, income outside of here and remain with uh well you know again a, a, a relatively high salary for mexican standards or a relatively low salary poor salary for u.s standards so you know it's like another major advantage out here you, you know your money goes further you get to enjoy life enjoy life even more even if you're living on bare bones like i am a lot of times um I'm telling you, um, there's no shortage of uh, amazing stuff to do, amazing stuff to experience. And uh, that's like a humongous advantage too, where, you know, people out here get to live their lives. Like, you know, for reals. Even the poorest fucking taxi driver, even the poorest uh, just regular worker, eventually has enough to not just have a house that he, you know, owns, but afford a beach house as well. So a lot of times here in, in Medellin, especially now as the summer's approaching, um, I remember from, from last year that, you know, this town would be empty all the time, you know, especially on weekends. And it was just because everybody was at their beach house. They would just go out there for, for weeks. It's like people in the U.S. can't barely afford a home, let alone have a home and a beach house. You know what I mean? So, and this is just on Mexican salaries and Mexican, you know, uh, pay and stuff like that as you know imagine someone you know coming with uh, a different income source like someone out, out there like you so you know there's a lot of advantages to living out here there's a lot of reasons why I love living out here um, there's all kinds of lifestyles you know you can live like the humble chill lifestyle like I do or you can live like the same lifestyle you live you know in the US if you you can afford it if you want to afford it. it's a lot cheaper to afford that here too but everything, every single comfort you have from home, you can get here. No doubt, you know what I mean? Like, no problem, it's not even a thing. You can literally get anything you want out here. And, um, yeah, you know, really the quality of life, you know, that's another major, major, major thing here. You know, the quality of life out here, no matter what the hell you're doing, is uh, beyond immeasurable when it comes to other places around the world. Again, you know, I'm just speaking mostly to first world countries out there. But living out here, I mean, it is a first world country. I mean, I know a lot of people think it's a third world country, but it's not. It's a first world country and it has everything you want in a third first world country. And it has so much more room to grow and it hasn't even begun. And um, I'm telling you, it's, uh, 
you know, it's, I don't just speak for Mexico. I speak for a lot of countries out there. But, I mean, we're just talking about Mexico right now and how awesome it's here. And uh, just knowing so many factors, you know, just like my age, uh, my everything. It's like the benefits to being out here. I'm 37, by the way. And, um, you know, I feel like I'm fucking 27, but another story for another day. But the point is that, you know, there's a huge advantage to that where, you know, I get to fucking live out here. You know, I feel like at the prime of my life and I get to, to build some awesome shit out here. And that's why I love living out here. You know, again, there's like a lot of reasons why I really love living out here. But it, it all stems down to freedom and quality of life. Basically it, you know, that's basically it. Freedom, quality of life. And I mean that in every definition of that. Um, I've done many episodes talking about that. I've, done, I've li literally done a bunch of episodes talking about exactly that in, in many uh, shapes and forms. But, um, but yeah, basically the, the reasons I love living out here is just because I can get everything I want the same way I can, you know, everything that I, everything that I miss from the U.S. I can basically get here. I actually have freedom. I actually have um, liberty. I actually have rights. Um, I feel safe, safer than I've ever felt before. Um, and uh, you know, so many other things that I've mentioned already before. You know, just quality of life. Mainly, you know, it all stems down to also quality of life. Uh, I'm still working. I'm working more than I've ever worked, but now I get to like really enjoy life, and it's like such a different, such a different feeling that I recommend you guys try it sometime. So. You know, with that being said, I'm going to end this episode here. I think it was a pretty cool episode, you know, just talking about why I love living out here and why it's so awesome. And, um, yeah, I mean, I wish I could have um, the weather be a little cooler. But, I mean, come on, if that's the only thing we got to complain about, it's perfect beach weather 365 days of the year, I'll tell you that. So, and the beach is across, it's right, literally right over there. I'm, I'm going to take you to the beach again. If you want to see more beach videos, check out my other Mexico. Yeah, speaking of the heat, see again, the camera just overheated and died. So anyways, with that being said, thanks again for joining me. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. You know, thank you to all my patrons. Thank you to everybody out there. Fucking love you guys. You guys are the best. And um, you already know the drill. Stay awesome. Get me a wind suck. And I'll see you motherfuckers tomorrow. Peace out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola for me. Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola for me. Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola for me.